Hello. Today we're going to talk about my flat tire. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Unfortunately, it happened sooner. I got my first flat tire on my Sonata Sabre e-bike. There's no one to blame or get mad at. It's just stuff that happens. I think as e-bikers, we go on longer rides and we use wide, fat tires that have a larger footprint. So, at this point, I have a few options. I can bring the whole bike or just the wheel to a local bike shop and they'll fix it, or I can fix it myself. I'm going to fix it myself, mainly because I'm impatient and I don't want to lose any riding time on my Sonata Sabre. First thing I'm going to need are tire levers, or I like to call them tire spoons. I had some in my toolbox, but they're small ones meant for a road bike. These larger ones ran me $3 at a big box store. You can also find them at a local bike shop or online. Now for some patches. Like the levers, I had a patch kit in my toolbox, but I think it was 30 years old, which is probably the last time I had to patch a bicycle tire. And the last thing you need is a bad patch or old glue. So we tossed that. This new patch kit was $5 at a local bike shop. The brand is Park Tools. They're very reputable. If it says Park Tools on it and you need it, just buy it. I'll post a link in the description to the instructions for using the patch kit. Read them. I didn't. Um, there's several brands of tire sealant available also. This one is Slime. Slime, Flat Out, Flat Be Gone, you name it. There are several brands. I got this bottle of Slime at a big box store for $9, but you can also find them at auto parts stores. You probably will not find them at a local bike shop as bike mechanics tend to frown on putting anything except air inside a bicycle tube. Slime and other companies claim that you can use these products and not patch the tire, but I have my doubts. We'll see. Uh, also, a good bicycle air pump is assumed. I think in my garage I got a manual one, an AC one, a DC one, whatever works for you. Although I think I'm going to order one of those fancy cordless portable ones to keep with me when I ride. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so the right way to fix the flat is to remove the wheel from the bicycle. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attempt to take off one side of the tire from the rim and slip the damaged part of the tube out of the tire. You're not gonna see video of me doing it because there was a lot of swearing, a lot of fist pounding, but I eventually got the tube exposed. Here I am prepping the surface with some fine sandpaper. The whatever patch kit you have should have a little piece of sandpaper in there to do this. Now on to putting the glue on the tube. Whatever you do, do not call it glue in front of a bike mechanic. Technically it's not glue. It's a special voodoo vulcanizing fluid that lets rubber and or latex bond to each other. Let it dry and get tacky for a minute before you use it. Otherwise it will not hold. So Luckily, I was able to get the patch on there. Um, although, if you look carefully at the photograph, I put the patch on upside down. But luckily, it did hold. Now, on to the slime. Since I got the patch to hold, I wasn't sure if I was going to use the slime or not. But I said, what the heck, extra insurance. Put half the bottle of slime in the rear tire with the patch tube and the other half of the bottle in the front tire that was undamaged. The stuff is a mess. It's really a judgment call whether you want to use it or not. But it's in there for now. Uh, we inflate the tire to 15 PSI. 
uh, make sure you have an accurate tire gauge. Those little pencil pen style gauges, I don't think they work very good. It's really a crapshoot as to how much air you're putting in the tire. This one, I think I got 30 years ago, still works great. So we're all done. We shoved the two back in the tire, slid the tire back on the rim, and we're good to go. Here's the little bugger that caused the flat in the first place. It looks to be a finishing nail. So I hope this helped anyone anyone that feels that a flat is the end of the is the end of the world. It really isn't. It feels like it, but you'll survive.